All right, today I had some free time and I decided to hand polish some of my Petoskey stones. Well, I discovered that they're all kind of a little bit too small. <laughs> so I settled on, and I'm glad I did, my specimen of Cladopora, which is a very, very old fossil that is actually comprised of one of the first green algaes ever known on planet Earth. I found it in South Milwaukee, Wisconsin a couple weeks ago on my way over to Michigan. It was at my uh, little side stop beach that I had in a previous video. Um, these are the stages of grit for wet dry sandpaper I'm using. I started with the 220. I went to 400, 500. I'm at the 1,000 right now. And then the 1200 grit is like the ultimate finishing grit for the sandpaper that I'm going to use. And I also have um, some polishing rock tumbling powder, like the finishing stuff that I'm going to use at the very end. And I'll show that. So I just want to let you know. And this stuff, I actually got it at Harbor Freight. Very reasonably priced and it works outstandingly well. So... If you're ever looking to do this kind of thing on your own, highly recommend it. All right, this is so far. I finally came to the 1000 grit stage and I don't know, I've been at this about an hour. You wanna keep the rock wet and the same paper as wet as you can as well because what I'm doing right here, if I wasn't doing this under wet conditions and rinsing the rack, um, I'd be creating silica dust, which is deadly, can cause lung cancer. Um, the base rack of this is chert, so when it's cut, the microcrystalline features of the quartz that's in the chert will become actually finer than glass shards in the air, because it's airborne. As a fine dust, so yeah, it kind of makes a mess in the sink, but it's better than breathing this stuff in. Technically, I probably should be wearing an N95, you know, but I feel this is pretty safe conditions what I'm doing here. If you have kids, definitely put on some masks or something if you have them around. So, all right, I'm gonna do this for a little while. I'll be back with the last stage. I also thought as part of the stages in between each uh, grit of sandpaper, I like to rinse off the rock in between each stage with a little bit of Dawn dish soap or whatever kind of dish soap you have um, and some water and let it soak for a little while, oh, like 10 minutes. Rub it off, get it nice and clean. You want It's kind of like tumbling rocks in a rock tumbler. You want all that find grit out of any cracks or grooves that are left inside the stone. I have some in this. I'm not going to polish them down any further because it's, I found like this one right here, it's actually started to get a little bit bigger as I was going on. So yeah, just a, a little tip. <laughs> oh, this stuff reminds me of, you know, an illegal substance. I'm sorry, I can't help but say that. Um, this is the final stage. This is what I use in my rock tumbler. Obviously, the final polish. Um, stop, and then I will be taking my finely sandpapered Cladopora fossil and uh, rubbing it in here. So, to spare you the boredom of watching me do that, I'll show you the finished product here shortly. Well, here's my finished product, and look at that puppy shine. <laughs> I'm happy with it. You know, it, technically, for the results that I got, um, gosh, my hands are dry, from uh, putting things in a rock tumbler for the course of a month, this came out almost as good as um, 
many of their acts that I have tumbled. It took me about an hour and a half. Of course, I took breaks, you know. It's Friday. I had to have a couple beers. Anyway, this is the Cladopora from the Devonian era. Um, that's about all I'm going to say about that. Let it speak for itself. I think if I maybe started over into this again, it probably would destroy the, uh, the rack. As I went from stage to stage in the grid of Sam Haber, um, some of these pits, as you can see right there, they got bigger. Uh, that is actually a crack, or an infusion of quartz, rather, not a crack. So I'm going to leave it be. It's pretty and perfect in my eyes. And it, you know, I've accentuated the features of it. So that's good enough for me. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the, watching this. I know it's been a little while since I've been out and, you know, rock hunting and looking for glass and stuff. But the lake, my lake shore up here is getting about mm, four inches of lake effect snow tonight. And I, I look up NOAA's, um, NOAA National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association's uh, reports, and the ice has actually uh, gone, it's frozen all the way from the shoreline where I go all the way out to about a quarter to half mile on the shores all the way down south, almost to Milwaukee. So I think it's going to be a while since I get out there. That's my whole point. <laughs> all right, everybody have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.